Okay, here's my latest uh, steam pump repair. It was uh, a lot of work. There was a lot of problems with it. They had this uh, frame here. It was uh, turned around, so there was parts that wouldn't fit properly, and it caused the the steam end to be up a little bit high on this end, which forced the piston down, so it wasn't running in and out properly. And uh, then there are screws down here uh, on the linkage that need to be loose to be able to run. Kind of interesting. And they were tight, so it wouldn't run. And there was just a whole bunch of little problems. On the water end over here, underneath here, there's a weld where the pump has uh, froze and broken the casting. But it holds, it doesn't leak. So did, whoever welded it did a good job. There are drains on it which are kind of interesting. They're this part right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that, that you rotate that and it's also on the water end right here and it opens uh, some valves, which is pretty neat. And I've just got it pumping into this bucket here, kind of recycling it. And it won't, it won't run on just one air, it has to have both of these. Of course, there's no pressure on it. It's moving a lot of water. And it won't have that knock when it actually is pumping into a boiler. Down here a bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. I built new pistons for it, brass pistons with O rings on it, because the leathers are all completely shot. So far, it's the boiler pump. Pump water in the boiler. And when it connected to a boiler and say there's 150 pounds of pressure or whatever, 100 pounds of pressure, it's going to move real slowly. You know, even less than that when it's actually operating. Anyway, that's about it. Runs good now. Made new gaskets for all the water ends. There's three on this end and two on this end. New, new gaskets. So, there you go.